Hey everyone, my name is Sam. And I'm Melissa. And welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be about how I almost died <laughs> attempting to swim. Dun and dun dun! <laughs> and if you'd like to hear more stories about him growing up in polygamy, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to hear about how and why he left polygamy, then go ahead and hit the video above. But, to start out, the main reason... That I didn't know how to that swim. That you didn't know how to swim, that we kind of wanted to talk about, was, were you guys allowed to swim when you were growing up in... Colorado or Colorado City Hilldale area in that community. No. Uh, well, I know that there were f other families that did swimming and that type of thing, but in our family it was we would get into some streams and water and that type of thing, but never really swimming. And I think a big part of that what well my my uh, family had theories that that uh, the waters were controlled by Satan, so that was a, that was one of the reasons that, <laughs> that they didn't want us to get into the water. Uh, but another reason that I never really got good at swimming was because we had to keep our clothes on at all times. So even if we were going swimming, well, all times unless we were taking a bath or something. But even if we were going swimming, we would have to wear our clothes, which consisted of jeans, long jeans all the way down to your ankle, and a buttoned up shirt that would go down to your wrist. So And the girls would be in long dresses all the way down to their ankles as yes. well. And even the families that were allowed to swim, they still stayed in their full they clothing still, as well. Yep. So even those that were allowed to swim were swimming in full dresses down yep. to wrists and yep. ankles and fully clothed. Yeah, in fact, a funny story about uh, the girls wearing those long dresses. <laughs> Side note. So, uh, I was talking with someone, I was talking with a friend, this was after I moved out of the, the community. And they were, they when they found out where I was from, they were telling me about an experience they had. They were on Lake Powell, and they were in their boat, just chilling in their boat, and they see another boat just flying across the lake. They're like, wow! So they t they look over there, and someone behind the boat on on jet skis, uh, and they see this person on jet skis with a big long dress just flying behind her. She's just going to town. So <laughs> one of the one of the women from out there was jet skiing and uh, wearing her full dress. Yeah. So that's that's how they did so it. Some people didn't let it hold them back. They yeah. were like, we're gonna do this anyways. But then yes. some families. Had those other beliefs. And I've actually heard that, I heard that growing up too, in the LDS religion. About, about water. Yeah, about uh, so Satan, they, Satan controlling the water. Yeah, so they got it from somewhere, obviously. But uh, yeah. but anyways, back to my story. So uh, I, was, I was 18 years old. I had just moved out of the community. And some friends from St. George, Utah were going swimming. Or going to a lake to go cliff jumping is what it's called, actually. So... <laughs> I said, sure, why not? Let's go. So I went with them out there to the lake, and they all got up on the rocks and, and uh, you know, and started jumping off of these cliffs. And I was like, cool. Okay, let me do a side <laughs> note here. For those of you who don't know Sam, let me tell you something about my husband. He is very competitive, and he is very much, if there isn't something that he knows how to do, he's going to fake it until he makes it. True. And over the years, I feel like he's gotten more comfortable in being able to say, like, okay, I don't know how to do that. Yep. But when he first left, and, like, when I met him for the first time when he was 18, there is no way that he would have admitted to anybody that he couldn't do it or that he couldn't swim or anything. So, like, he was the type that's just always been determined that, like, well, I'll just figure it out. Yeah. I can figure it out. If I'll they're doing it, it, I can do it. So just know that to begin with, that yeah. he always had the attitude. So I guarantee you, these people that were like, hey, why don't you come cliff jumping with us? Like, they had no clue that... I didn't know how to swim. Yeah. No, I was 18 years old. Everyone knows how to swim. You know, yeah. most people know how to swim. Yeah. So they jump off, and so I jump off. You know, and, I, and on my way down, I'm thinking, ooh, I really hope this isn't a very deep lake. <laughs> I have no idea how to swim. 
<laughs> so of course it's a very deep lake and so i go under and i just start freaking out of course i mean i'm kicking screaming hollering i mean i'm just swallowing water i mean it was it was to the point i thought man i am i am done for but uh, luckily one of my friends you know had to throw me a floaty but there was a floaty nearby <laughs> <laughs> he had to throw me a, a floating toy, which I grabbed a hold of, and it saved my life. <laughs> but anyway, so that's swimming out uh, in Hilldale in Colorado City was was something that in my family we didn't really do. And as far as I know, none of my siblings, at least the ones around my age, knew how to swim at all. So my question for you: After jumping off and getting the floaty to save you, did you jump off again? Actually, because no. Okay. <laughs> no, I I, <laughs> I do crazy things. Prepare but, the but floaty. I, I, <laughs> just I'm in case, sorry. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I did not. In fact, water scared me for a while after that. So Aww. it actually took me until that I was 18. It took me until I was 22, I believe, 22 years old oh, before wow. I actually learned how to swim. So, I mean, of course, there were other times that I would jump, in a, jump into a swimming pool and that type of thing after that experience at the lake. But to actually learn how to swim and do it semi-well, I was about 22 years old. Yeah, so it took me a while. In fact, that's, that really scared me. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can only imagine. <laughs> but yes, for all of those wondering, he was not allowed to swim growing up. Yep. And don't, for all those, anybody young watching, don't. Cliff jump when you don't know how to swim. Yeah, that is not, the moral of this idea. story not today. Not a good idea. I, uh, my, my mother, I was just thinking back on why maybe I didn't even try to learn how to swim. My mother told me at a very young age that she had a dream that she found me dead at the bottom of a swimming pool. So And she told, <gasps> me, and she told me never, ever, ever, ever go in near water. So, anyways, that's probably a part of the reason. Uh, why yeah. <laughs> How old were you when she told you that? I don't remember. I know. I know. I was young, though. I was very young. I'm pretty yeah. sure that would scare any little kid enough to stay away from yeah. swimming. Yeah. So pools. floaty floaties now. Every time I go into swimming pool, no. <laughs> you know, him and our three year old, they just kind of. No, I'm just kidding. He can swim now, but I figured it out. But, yeah. So. But yeah, there's a story of how he almost drowned, and. Let that be a warning to not be overly confident <laughs> in abilities that you don't have yet. And it's okay to learn things when you're 22. And I will say that is one thing that I absolutely love and adore about you is you. that he's always willing to learn things, learn something new. Because there's a lot of things that you just didn't learn growing up there that's not his fault. Yeah. Like, it's not his fault he didn't learn how to swim. You weren't allowed to swim. And so... Being able to say, you know what, I still want to learn when I'm 22 instead of well, I'm just going to avoid water for the rest yeah. of my life, yeah. I think is pretty awesome, yeah. babe. Well, thank you. So I'm proud of you. <laughs> and if you guys want to hear more stories about him growing up in polygamy, please like and subscribe to our channel. And we will talk to you guys soon. We'll again talk soon. To you soon.